Hey everybody, welcome to another stream. Wow, the camera zoomed out weirdly far tonight. Oh well. Um, oh, it's because the Batman logo isn't there. That's why. Hold on. Professional show business. Here we go. Okay. Where is it? Huh. That's why there's usually up in this area a logo for the game that for some reason is not showing up right now well how do you like that let me try and add it just because i'm a perfectionist like that and i like it when the thumbnails look good not my own they need trimming but the uh the ones on twitch i don't even remember what folder i have that saved in standby there you are, Batman logo. Okay, now let's get that over here. We are live. There we go. How about that? Does that look good? I don't know. Uh, it looks good to me. So hopefully it looks good to you. I'm going to click update information. I don't know if that actually does anything. But anyway, hi! <laughs> sorry about that. Ooh, and sorry about my neighbor driving by real loud. Uh, so yeah, episode 35 of the podcast dropped last night, which means that this coming Thursday... Uh, the Thursday before Thanksgiving will be the last episode of the Kings of Consoles podcast for round one of our NES tournament. Uh, if this is your first time watching one of these streams, uh, this is in support of a podcast that is also called Kings of Consoles, uh, created and co-hosted by me, Pat Dooley. Uh, my co-host Ricky Geraldo and I have taken IGN's list of the 100 best games for the NES, and every week we are playing two of them, March Madness style, picking a winner, that one moves on until we eventually find the king of the console uh future seasons obviously we will do different consoles uh we're just starting with nes because that's kind of where it started for a lot of us um so uh as mentioned before this is uh round round one of the podcast is almost over which means i'm playing the games for round two uh on the the december 17th episode of the podcast i'm playing way ahead here uh just because you know there's going to be a lot of uh, time off for the holidays so i just want to make sure we've got everything played all the episodes recorded and all that before everybody does their own thing for the holidays so we're not worrying about you know recording or streaming on christmas eve uh the december 17th episode will feature today's game batman the video game as it takes on Astyanax. Uh, if you are unfamiliar with Astyanax, uh, I just played it Tuesday night here on twitch.tv slash kings of consoles. You can go back and watch that if you like. Um, we will actually, I mentioned before, Ricky and I picked the winners. Uh, occasionally we disagree. It does happen sometimes. And so we put up posts. Uh, you'll find them under the about tab here on our Twitch channel. Uh, it'll also be on our Facebook page uh, at kings of consoles. It'll be on our Twitter page. I just said Twitter, our Facebook page, uh, facebook.com slash kings of consoles. Uh, we always post the polls there uh, so you can help us break any ties. It hasn't happened a lot, but it has happened a couple of times. And in fact, one time you guys were so split, we wound up having to flip a coin, uh, which is how Battletoads and Double Dragon, the ultimate team, beat Tecmo Super Bowl, the console game I've played the most ever, and uh, broke my heart a little bit. This two peso coin betrayed me. I keep it here as a reminder. Anyway, so Batman the Video Game. Uh, it's a side-scrolling beat-em-up from Sunsoft. Uh, we did play it once before. Uh, it beat Dragon Warrior 3, surprisingly, uh, uh, way back. Uh, gosh, I don't even remember what episode number that was. That was a while ago. Uh, let me pull it up. I've got it here. Uh, it was back in August, episode 21, uh, Batman beat Dragon Warrior 3. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, that's a, a thing that happened. Um, I'm still a little surprised by how it happened, but you know, it's Batman. People like Batman. Uh, I made it to about halfway through the game the first time around. Uh, unfortunately, there is a password system for this game, but you can only use it after you've beaten it once. 
and I didn't beat it. I made it halfway through, which means I get to start at the beginning and try to make it back to where I was. Uh, one of the rules of the podcast is we play each game for one hour, so that way we have an equal, you know, it's equally weighted. We we can't, you know, oh, I really like this one. I'm going to play it for three hours. So this is, eh, I give up after 20 minutes. We give each game a fair shake, so we decided on an hour. Uh, so I have an hour to try to surpass where I made it in August. Uh, so what I'm going to do here in just a second is just down below me, you know, there's a little black space between me and the segment of the bracket that we're playing. You can see Astronax and Batman is highlighted there, uh, and you can see the other games happening around it in that section of the bracket, including one open spot uh, for Tetris versus Journey to Silius, which, spoiler alert for yesterday's episode, uh, Journey to Silius actually won that to move on to Face Ninja Gaiden. We just only update the, the digital bracket the following week, so that way we don't spoil things for if somebody's checking our uh, challenge page before they've had a chance to listen. Uh, so yeah. All right, I think that is just about everything. So just down below me, there will be a timer. You will see it count down from one hour to zero. When it hits zero, there's going to be a horrible buzzer sound. I will pause the game, and that will be it. And then that will be what I use to evaluate as it uh, challenges Astronax. So I think... I am ready to go, so I'm going to press start on my timer, and I'm going to press start on my controller at the same time. And I'm also going to unmute the game. This is obviously based on... I'm going to skip through the cinematic, because I have already watched them once. Three months ago. That's right, Batman punching robots till they die. Just like in the movie. But hey, whoop, so far all I've needed is running and punching and jumping, so. Oop. I feel like this is one of those where if I press like B and up at the same time, it shoots a projectile maybe. We'll practice that later. I don't want to waste it in case it is what it is. Nope, that's not what it is. Gotta love slow video game bullets. Also, love killing somebody by punching them in the balls repeatedly. So yeah, this is based on the 1989 movie, Michael Keaton, Jack Nicholson, Kim Basinger. Well, I can grab onto walls, can't I? Yeah, that's right. like a mine. Oh, <laughs> nope, it's a thing that attacks me. Punch, 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 punch. Jump, jump. I only jumped once. I thought I'd throw him off. Oh, these aren't the things I jump over. These are the things I kneel down and punch. So if you go, I mentioned sort of in passing earlier, challenge.com, C-H-A-L-L-O-N-G-E.com slash games of consoles. That is uh, where you can find the digital copy of the oop bracket that you can see on the, the whiteboard behind me. And you can see the snippet of it in the lower right corner of your screen right now. Oh, come on. This is, you're a jerk. You're both jerks. I don't like either of you. Unfortunately, both of your aims suck. Oop, oh, oop, Batman bursts into flames, just like in the movie. Uh, yeah, so if you go to challenge.com, you can see the tentative dates for upcoming episodes. Uh, for sure, the one on Thursday is going to be the... Um, pretty much all of round two is accurate. I don't think we're going to be changing that anytime. Oh, darn. Um, we're not going to be changing any of the round two dates, but uh, we might change future rounds. We like to try to kind of keep games from the same franchise together or, you know, similar genres. For example, you'll notice that um, 
we have kind of a like a Nintendo All Star thing happening right after the first of the year, where we're going to be playing through like iconic characters, primarily determined by whether or not they've had characters in uh, Super Smash Brothers games. So you're looking at your you know your Mario's and your Zeldas and your Metroids, uh, all of that is going to kick off uh, after the first of the year. Uh, including the return of fan favorite Mega Man May, which we did do this year. Uh, enough Mega Man games advanced that we will do it for a second year in a row in round two. Uh, we are also going to be introducing Super Marchio, which is not a thing we did the first time around because all of the Mario games, except Dr. Mario and the original Mario Bros, uh, all got buys in the first round. That's a ninja. Yeah, you're not going to fool me. That's gonna happen. Oh, not that bad. Except for the boss now, and I have no. How do I do? Oh, so I press start to toggle between weapons, and then I can throw them. So I have batarangs and a gun, just just like in the movie. Batman pulls out his Smith and Wesson. starts shooting a flying robot outside of City Hall. Oops. I know we talked about this the first time we played this. These are all... All these mini-bosses are based on characters from the comics. I just don't remember who they are. Like, obviously, this is not an A-lister. Granted, I'm not as up on my... DC villains as I am on Marvel. I was always a Marvel kid. I was always mostly an X-Men kid. But Spider-Man a little less so. Oops. <laughs> that was lucky. This has got to be the cheapest way to do this, but... It's also keeping me from getting hurt, so. Hooray! Alright, now I get back in the Batmobile and we drive around. Ooh, now we shoot things. Nice little bit of drifting there by Batsy. Now this is... Wildly impractical. I like the little marching robots there. Looking like Willem Dafoe's Green Goblin. I'm betting I don't want to jump in the uh, green chemicals. I have read enough Batman comics to know that. Green chemicals are how you get... Jokers or possibly Banes. Maybe even Poison Ivies? Anyway, Ace Chemical is not a good thing in Batman comics, regardless of which supervillain they create. Uh-oh. Okay. Well. I'm gonna hit him with a battering. Ta-da! Oh no! That's annoying. Well, plus, this does not appear to be one of those games where enemies respawn if you have to go past to the spot where you found them. So that's nice. Uh oh! Uh oh! Oh no! I guess that would have been a good time to battering again, eh? Do 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 do. Catchy, catchy. Batarang sounds like such a first draft idea. Like, he should have, like, suggested that, and then Lucius Fox would have been like, eh, you can do better. But you 
see, I'm a, I'm a bat, and it's a boomerang, so it's a batarang. Yeah, but you've already got the Batmobile and the bat plane. ceiling, can I? Nope. Just one of those favorite game tropes of mine where you have to get hurt before you can advance. Oh, don't. You know what? I turned on the timer and I didn't actually display it. Look at that. There we go. It's like there's something missing. I could see it, but... My friends out in Twitchland couldn't. Ouchie. There was a health thing around here somewhere. Uh oh. Oh boy. Yep, walk right into that. Yes, I would like to continue. Thank you. I don't remember the music being this good the first time around, but it's also possible I just. There have been so many games that we've played that I just. This one slipped my mind. That's how it's gonna be, huh? Eat a rang. from Ren and Stimpy. No, sir, I don't like it. Very frustrating. I also feel like this is one of those games that doesn't have unlimited continues. Which means I'm probably going to get real mad here pretty soon. Oh, hey, I'd mentioned on previous streams that uh, basically since the, almost since the start of the show, about two weeks after the show, three weeks after the show started, I got laid off. I was one of the, you know, however many hundreds of thousands, millions? I don't remember what the actual number wound up being uh, of Americans who lost their jobs because of COVID. Uh, I just, this afternoon, signed a contract to start a new job. So that's exciting. Having a source of income means that, you know, when the pandemic is eventually over, I can go to my 
local used game stores and actually buy some of these carts rather than having to rely on emulators as much as I have through round one. Which is very exciting. Because as a content creator, you know, I, I'm a firm believer that people that create things should get paid for them. Okay, so here's the thing. I don't know how to get... How am I supposed to do this without getting hurt? I'm missing something. I know I am. That's just not... Oh, there it is. Ah, shoot. Okay, but that's... That's good to know. I don't... My hair is doing a weird thing today. Sorry for the weird... part thing that's happening. One thing I have not done since the uh, pandemic started is get a haircut. I figure out a way to do curbside contactless haircuts. Your boy's gonna be a little on the shaggy side. And the cool shaggy from Scooby Doo, not the lame one that it wasn't. Oh boy. That was not done well at all, Dooley. Do 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 do. There you go. That's the way you do it. Play the guitar on the MTV. That ain't working. That's the way you do it. Get your money for nothing and your chicks for free. Do 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 do. Oopsie. Come on, you can. Oh, ow. It's not a drop down. Whoops. Helps if you actually succeed. But, you know. right where I was last time, aren't I? I think that's literally exactly where I died last time. Which is just... just awesome. <laughs> Alright, let's lose a bar of health immediately. Is there a benefit to going left first? I don't think there is. tell you there are not going to be any highlights made of this run. Haha! <laughs> Eleventh time's the charm. I don't know if it was actually eleven. Feels like. Oh, come 
on. Here we go. Time to die again. Ooh. Oops. Well, this is already going just swimmingly. There you go. Face the right direction and punch. Good Batman. Uh oh. Also not sure if you're watching yet, but if you are, hi Pete. Peter's my nephew. He's awesome. His little brother Ben is awesome too, but he's also like less than two years old, so I'm not sure he really understands what's happening. <laughs> Thanks, Kim. Sometimes that's way more powerful than others. But you know what? I ain't mad at it. Alright. We're getting somewhere. Much like chemical factories, in a Batman comic, warehouse is never a good thing. Is it actually doing anything? Or am I just wasting ammo? I think I'm just wasting ammo. Which is awesome, because I wasted a lot of ammo. Okay, well. Uh. Oh, 
the right direction there, Batman. Ooh, I timed that. I couldn't have done that any better. Ow! Okay. Double ow. starting to remember this. <laughs> no, that was one of those ones I got there. Yeah. I guess I'm just gonna die. By both of them, instead of my grand plan of neither. Do, 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 do. Frustrations. That's right, keep dropping your little ch -ch 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 things, and I will punch them out of the sky. Or I will miss three in a row and give up. Because as everyone knows, Batman definitely gives up at the first sign of failure. That's why there were only ever three comics made of him. What's that? There have been thousands. And at least seven movies? Huh. Okay. I stand corrected. Also, I just made up the number seven, but I think I might actually be right. Well, I mean, I guess there's a 66 one with Adam West. 89 with Keaton, Batman Returns, Batman Forever, Batman and Robin, so that's 5, then the Nolan Trilogy is 8, if you count Batman vs. Superman and Justice League, that's 10, he's technically in Wonder Woman, makes it 11, and Suicide Squad is 12. Robert Pattinson. I was off by almost half. Sure, 
be able to do that. But I can, apparently. Oh, no. Yep, I remember this. so much smoother the first time. cheap way to restock my ammo, but shoot. Also an easy way to lose a lot of health before you get to the boss. wasn't good, but... Okay, yeah. Maxed out. Cool, cool, cool. That life was just a sacrifice to... gonna do this. Oops, quadruple uh oh. 
No recovering from the dreaded quadruple uh oh. Really enjoy looking at the box art, which is, you know, just slightly up and to my right, your left. I enjoy that it has to specify that it's Batman the video game. Lest you think it's Batman the man. How did they fit him in this tiny box? Oh, it's a video game. Although, honestly, it was probably so people didn't spend whatever $60 on it and then call Blockbuster upset that it wasn't the movie. Um, no man, you clearly rented Batman the video game. See, it's right there on the box. I don't know what Karens were called in 1990, but... Karen Sr.? Oh, come on. Now you're just being silly, Batman. Alright, here we go. Jump, jump. Shoot, 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 shoot. Jump, jump. Shoot, 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 shoot. Okay. Chris Rock on In Living Color. Good lord, that's a lot of Batman. Yep, I'm gonna die. I'm just gonna let it happen. Save the ammo. Oh, face the right direction when you're shooting Batman. We've been over this. Gotta shoot.
jump and punch. The Batman way. You ever danced with the devil in the pale moonlight? Uh, no. Is he nice? Oh boy, this guy. I remember him and hating him. Oh good, and he's got friends. Plus side. Water isn't poison. Oh, I can't stand on those. I thought I could. That would explain why my health was going down so fast. <laughs> Just jump right on my head. Do do do. Well then, that's a great start. Wow, that was, I mean, I haven't seen every run of everybody ever playing this level, but I gotta imagine that's bottom five. Also, how do I not have any projectiles right now? Ooh, just popped my neck. That was nice. I don't know if the microphone picked that up, but my spine sure did. Feels good. Uh-oh. No. No, there are two of them. Star Wars, not of this podcast. I didn't do that impression on the podcast until just this second. There no match for droid because. So excited to see me. Leave me alone, I don't want to hug. Batman doesn't hug. Just ask Robin. Or Vicky Vale, or Chase Meridian, or Selena Kyle, or Rachel Dawes, or Talia Al Ghul. Batman's not a hugger. I don't want to be your friend.
not a great start, but it's better than starting off with half my health gone. Dang, Nabbit. Go away. Go away now, please. Go away now, please. Oh. Don't like bad ranks. Bollocks. and give me more batarangs. Oh, I didn't see him. And now I'm going to die because that's so annoying. All right, how am I doing on projectiles? Need more than I've got. Give me. All right. Might as well just let him kill me. The speed I got through the first two levels was like, oh, how did I only make it to 3-3 last time? Because I forgot about these guys. So you probably can't. We have really close to high school. And it's Friday night. And I can kind of hear the PA from the football stadium. Which is cool. One of these years I'm going to actually make it out there for a game. Like, it's literally within walking distance. When we had an exchange student a couple years ago, she just walked to school every day. Unless it was, you know, cold or rain or whatever. We weren't, you know, cruel taskmasters or anything. They were just regular taskmasters. But nah, she was great. And on the off chance she's watching in Slovakia. Hi, Tamea. We miss you. Super fun game right up until this point. And 
then it just becomes insufferable. There's nothing fun about this. There's nothing about this level that feels like Batman. Now, granted, you can't really compare it to, like, your, you know, the Rocksteady games, the, you know, Arkham Asylum, Arkham City, Arkham Knight, Arkham Origins. Is that what the fourth one was called? Because, I mean, there's a level of immersion in those games that you just can't get in an 8-bit game. But, like... Again, I'm not a Batman expert, but... I'm fairly certain Batman never fought any jumping spiky dudes in the sewer that just killed him repeatedly because he couldn't hit them. I don't even know what those jumpy things are based on. Feels like it's a, like a holdout from a different Sunspot game. I'm like, screw it, let's put it in the Batman game. But it doesn't have anything to do with Batman. It's Batman the video game. They'll figure it out. I mean, I'm sorry, Batman, you're significantly the higher seed at 33 against 97, but, I mean, Astronach's looking real good right now, because I really legitimately hate this level, and I had forgotten all about it. Guys, I'm trying so hard right now not to just... Thank you, Link underscore 7777. Uh, I'm going to need all of the luck I can get, because I have been stuck on this level for quite some time. Man, it's at least one more round, because I'm doing really poorly this time. Into the stream link 7777. You are. You're new, right? I don't remember seeing you pop up in the uh, chats before. Not gonna lie, having a new user in the chat is actually a little helpful right now, because uh, this was getting really repetitive and really not fun. But words of encouragement from a stranger are always welcome, and now I'm gonna die. Yeah. Yeah, it's... They're so out of place. There's nothing... There's nothing Batman about them. Well, yes. <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah, new to, new to this channel. Do you stream as well, or are you uh, just a, a viewer? Not just a viewer. You know, viewers are great. If you only view, it's more so what I was asking. Really not going well. On the plus side, this stream is all nice. Big fan of the retro stuff. 
as evidenced by the fact that we've built an entire podcast around playing IGN's 100 best NES games. And a Twitch channel to correspond to it. Uh-oh. I can tell I shorted that jump as soon as I did it. Oh, nice! Can you drop your channel link in the chat? I'll check it out after uh, the next 4 minutes and 38 seconds are over. I feel like I may have brought this up the last time we played this for the show that if I catch the Batarang when it comes back, I should be allowed to throw it again. I shouldn't run out of Batarangs if I catch them. Awesome. Yeah, totally. Come on, let me go ahead and click that so I can get it open. In Chrome, so I can play around on the on your channel when we're done. Three, a little over three minutes left in the game, and then there'll be a little, you know, wrap-up thing where I plug the podcast and all that. And then once I'm done, I will pop over and check all that out. Definitely appreciate you coming by. Yeah, I suppose that's true. That's a that's a very fair point. And I guess if it was like a real boomerang where, you know, if it hit something it would just drop, that would make sense. But they probably weren't quite. Uh, so we took IGN's list of the 100 best games uh, for the NES. Uh, every season we do a different console. This is just the first one we've done. Um, and we play every week on the podcast, every Thursday afternoon, we play through two um, two games, and then we pick a winner, and the winner moves on. Just, you know, kind of March Madness bracket style. Uh, last game standing is the king of the console. I think I'm getting worse. I don't know how that happened, but doing pretty bad before. Maybe if I jump, they'll think I'm one of them and leave me alone. No, I'm just a jumping spiky dude, too. Yeah, it was worth a shot. So yeah, we're just starting... Actually, this episode that comes out this Thursday. Yeah! I mean, we, we take into account stuff. You know, we, we try to make an objective decision based on, you know, quality of the game. But there are times where, like... Well, like, for example, you can see in the bracket there, um, Astronax, the number 97 game, beat number 32, Snake, Rattle, and Roll in the first round. The Snake, Rattle, and Roll has really good graphics for the era, um, It, but in, you know, in our opinion, it was not very fun to play. So uh, part of the thing is we, we play each game for an hour, and neither one of us really wanted to play another hour of that, so Astronax moved on. Uh, this and Dragon Warrior was a, a closer vote, but I, 
Actually, I think I may have voted for Dragon Warrior 3 myself, but uh, my co-host picked Batman. And then we also uh, we do polls on Twitter and Facebook, and then when we launched the Twitch channel a couple months ago, we do the polls here as well. It's under the About tab. Um, so... Um, listeners to the podcast and viewers of the stream can help us break any ties, uh, if there are any. So, after hour number two with Batman, the first two levels are super fun. Like, it's a lot, a lot of fun. Yeah, I think that's part of it, is that Astronax had, there was a little more depth to it. Like, after the hour was up, it's like, well, well I want to see what happens next. Uh, whereas Snake Rattle and Roll is like, I know what's next. More, you know, isometric platforming uh, and, you know, eating stuff so that I can weigh down a thing and go through a door. Um, but yeah, so that's Batman the Video Game. That was uh, that was another hour with it. Um, that's our hours of great. Yeah. Um, so that is, uh, that's, that's this episode. Uh, you can see in the upper left corner all of our, our social links and everything. We've got obviously facebook.com slash kings of consoles. Follow the show at Kings of Consoles on Twitter. You can follow me personally. I'm at Loopy Date. Uh, my co-host Ricky Geraldo is at RickyGN7. He just changed his Twitter handle, so I think I got it right. You'll see it in the graphic in a minute. Uh, Channelonge.com slash Kings of Consoles has the full version of the bracket. Uh, you can just see a section of it down below. I have the whole thing on the whiteboard behind me, but I'm not sure how well that shows up uh, on the stream. Uh, you can email us, kingsofconsolespod at gmail.com. Didn't think that was hard enough recently. Oh no. What? <laughs> what? Oh, uh, ko fi.com slash games and consoles was the other one I was missing if you want to uh, contribute financially. What uh, What did you add or take out of Batman to make it uh, more difficult? I'm going to mute that so that we're not talking over it. You know what? I'll just go ahead and hide the two. No, I'll hide the time's up. We already know time's up. <laughs> Can I find that in the same? If I go to your GitHub, will, would I find that there as well? The the Batman hack? Huh. I have to check it out. I probably won't stream it because we're, we try to keep the, the stream and the podcast friendly for all ages and the ROM hacking. Okay. All right. Cool. Well, I have some homework to do. That'd be great. Uh, so the next time... I will be joining y'all on the stream will be this Sunday, the 15th, where I will actually be spending two hours with Bionic Commando, uh, which is a, an all-time favorite. Uh, it got a first round buy, so that's why it gets two hours instead of just one. Oh, let me open that in another Chrome tab. Awesome. Um, so yeah, so we'll be playing Bionic Commando Sunday. Uh, Tuesday will be Wizards and Warriors. Friday the 20th will be Guardian Legend. And then Sunday the 22nd will be Bubble Bobble. And then we're going to take a, about a week and a half off uh, for Thanksgiving before coming back in early December uh, for another couple of streams before taking uh, the holidays off. So that's what's coming up. Um, we will obviously we, we tweet and we post on Facebook when, when new streams are coming. You can also check out the schedule tab here on twitch.tv slash kings of consoles. Um, or, you know, you can email us or, or tweet at us or whatever if you have other questions. Uh, so thanks to uh, Pink Ranger Kim 47 and Pete uh, for joining us at the beginning. And then link underscore 7777. Always love getting new viewers. It was nice chatting with you, even uh, through this incredibly frustrating game <laughs> uh, I will be sure to check out the stuff you just linked uh, and folks if you are watching the replay and you've got the chat open click those links too uh, we got links from link which is awesome uh, so yeah don't forget to subscribe to the podcast rate and review it um, we as we mentioned in the episode that just dropped yesterday if you have you know feedback on things you'd like us to add to the show or segments we do that aren't quite working for you let us know uh, otherwise, you'll hear me Thursday, but you will see me again right back here Sunday, uh, I believe 4.30. I don't know what time I'm streaming. It's on the Twitch channel. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Play old games.